Welcome to the IBJJF online rules course. In this video, we'll be discussing guard passing. Before we start explaining guard passing, it's very important to understand the concept of the guard position. The guard is defined by the use of the legs to prevent the athlete on top from reaching side control, north-south position, or any other control free from the opponent's legs. Half guard is where the athlete on bottom has one of the opponent's legs trapped, blocking them from passing the guard. A guard pass is when the athlete on top position manages to free themselves from the opponent's guard, clearing their legs and stabilizing position for 3 seconds. If the opponent turns to their side, the athlete will still score 3 points for the guard pass, as long as they control the top position. When the athlete clears the opponent's legs and gives up top control to attempt an armbar, he will only score guard pass points if he gets back on top and stabilizes top control for 3 seconds or more. Please pay attention to these next specific situations and their respective interpretations. Trapping an arm with the lasso position will not stop points from being scored when the athlete passes. However, when the opponent on bottom has the foot on bicep control with the leg straight, the athlete will not receive points because the guard position is still active. While attacking from top position, the athlete ends up on bottom and uses their legs to prevent the opponent from reaching side control. It will be considered guard and points or advantages will be awarded regarding the guard pass. But, while attacking from top position, the athlete ends up on bottom and does not use their legs to prevent the side control. No points or advantages will be awarded for the guard pass. When a reverse triangle is initiated from guard, it will still be considered a guard position. If the athlete manages to clear the legs and stabilize for 3 seconds, it will be considered a guard pass. On the other hand, if the reverse triangle does not start from the guard, it will not be counted for points as a guard pass. Now we are going to show you how advantages are scored. The referee may only award advantage points once there is no longer a chance for the athlete to reach a point scoring position. When the athlete manages to pass the opponent's guard, but the opponent recovers guard before 3 seconds of stabilization. When the athlete manages to pass the opponent's guard, but the opponent turns to all fours before 3 seconds of stabilization, even without controlling the back, this will count as an advantage. An advantage will also be scored when the athlete stacks the opponent or allows them to roll back and maintain at least one of the opponent's knees on the ground while controlling their back. However, when the athlete stacks the opponent or allows them to roll back and does not control the opponent's back, no points or advantage will be awarded. In the next footage, we will see situations that are worth an advantage for half guard. The athlete must have a stable half guard top control in order for an advantage to be scored. And remember, the athlete only scores an advantage once there is no longer a chance for the athlete to pass the opponent's guard. When starting from pulling guard, the athlete achieves half guard control over the opponent, but does not solidify the pass. When starting from any kind of guard, the athlete achieves half guard control, but does not solidify the guard pass because the opponent recovers. When starting from guard, the athlete achieves half guard control over the opponent, but does not solidify the pass. Remember, the athlete only scores an advantage for half guard if they don't pass the guard because the opponent recovers, or sweeps, or the time runs out. The half guard position will not count as an advantage for the athlete on top if the guard pass is completed. If the athlete sweeps or takes the opponent down and lands in a stable half guard position, they will score 2 points but will not count for a half guard advantage, even if the opponent recovers guard. The following half guard positions are not worth an advantage. In a reverse half guard situation, when the athlete on bottom pushes the opponent away with the knee, 
When the athlete on top doesn't have a stable top control due to the technique that's being developed by the opponent. Any questions or concerns regarding guard passing, please visit ibjjf.com forward slash rules.